hi guys uh welcome back to my channel and today well so today we will be talking about um what i did in the usa so um i was operating in the usa and i will be talking about operating easy and simple so basically i have written down a couple of questions that i thought would be important or very helpful for someone who wants to be an au pair uh, we'll be tackling what is an au pair what do you do as an au pair how to choose a family what agency i use how much money you get and how i benefited from being an au pair <laughs> that took me long enough to get it all together but anyway so basically an au pair is a french word that translate um <laughs> equal to so equal to meaning that um in exchange to say an au pair is someone that leaves their country to go to a different country to live with the family in exchange to taking care of their kids easy and simple to do as an au pair is you travel from your own country to a different country to take care of the kids so that's what you practically do as an au pair what you do as an au pair is everything child care related everything child care related everything child care related so what i did as an au pair but actually just get them ready for school take them to school i pick them up from school take them to after school activities and then after activities we get home i make them dinner and the parents would take over from there so that was all i did and besides that i did uh the kids laundry or the kids dishes and minimal of cleaning the kids room so minimal um just tidying up like literally just putting things away and sometimes i wouldn't do it i'll just tell the kids to do it easy and simple and that's practically it and then how much did i get paid as an au pair so i got paid 195 75 dollars a week after working 45 hours a week and 10 hours a day so 10 hours a day for five hours a week so you get paid for 52 weeks from the week you start to the week you finish you get paid and you get two uh paid leave two paid leave means that like on the two weeks that you get you get to travel or do whatever you just don't work and you still get paid so you get that and the next question is um, what agency did I use? So I used our uh, Cultural Care, Cultural Care Au Pair. That's the agency I used. It was very easy and very helpful from the agency. So what you need to be an au pair is first, first things first, you shouldn't have a child and you shouldn't be over the ages of 27, 27 years. So you can't be 27 and older, 26 and older, 26 and older, and you can't have kids. So you shouldn't be a mother because you can't be taking care of other kids, other people's kids while you left your own at home. And then um, another requirement is a driver's license and a matric certificate. Well, you should have passed your matric. <laughs> and that's it no actually your driver's license as well you need your driver's license to become an au pair which is easy and simple driver's license you are ready for the go and then okay um so how i benefited from the whole au pair program and au pair everything is i got to live in america for two years like guys two years i was traveling for two years like literally i was on vacation for two years so okay <laughs> again i was working but i felt like i was on vacation the whole time well i still feel like i'm on vacation now excuse me so um that was that and 
I had an opportunity to go to uh, Long Island University which was amazing I met people there and I got to live the college American life for a weekend or maybe like four weekends because I went for four classes so that was great and then again like I wouldn't exchange anything for the whole program you know like guys my kids were amazing like they were amazing like literally amazing like I like guys you don't understand the kids were just so amazing we had so much fun they felt like my own like I love them so much that I was just like oh my god when I left guys you have no idea story for another day so and again I got to travel and again it's very easy traveling from the USA to anywhere else Except to Canada when you're from South Africa since you need a new visa, but otherwise like guys You you have no idea like the traveling that I did. Oh, so you asked me. How do you choose a perfect family? There is no perfect family Well, maybe there is because I lived with one perfect family Well, both of my families were perfect But what do you do is when you choose your family just make sure that you choose your family According to the common interests that you have so let's say for instance you like tennis basketball um, Soccer you like swimming try get the fam a family that likes doing the very same things So when you get there you don't get bored. I mean when they tell you that oh, we're going out for a run then it's like something to talk about because you love running as well but if you get a family that you just get a family then it's a problem you know and also you need to look location is very important I tell people all the time like look for a location that you will do things at a location that's closer to other places closer to the airport closer to restaurants um, I don't know like just find the city go to the city because it's very easy when you um, go to the city it's everything's there you don't get bored you don't get homesick make sure you find friends find friends find friends <laughs> I know that sounds crazy but you need friends you need friends when you're pairing so this is it from me let me check if I missed anything but well this is it from me to you and well all the best for those who want to take the journey of being au pairs I wish you guys everything great and more and those that are pairing stay strong travel and save money so from me to you thanks for tuning in please like subscribe comment and bye